Well, I've heard about uh, fat and the dangers of it, what to look out for. But did you know there are two different types of fat? One's called white fat, and the other one's called brown fat. One sits around your waistline, the other actually helps burn it off. Joining us this morning is natural health care expert, Dr. Mark Mincola. And uh, Mark, great to see you again. Who knew there was a white fat and a brown fat? Because I know I didn't. Been studied since 1979. That far back, yeah, really? Way back. Wow. I did not realize that people uh, actually studied it and recognize it and now fully understand it. So understanding the difference between the two, though, is, is pretty significant in terms of what they do and how they it work. It is. I like to simplify it, Gene. It's fit fat, fatal fat. Okay. <laughs> and the difference being being well, what? The white fat? Well, the white is... fat is the fatal fat. Okay. It's the cholesterol. It's the triglycerides, the stuff around the belt buckle. It's it's the obesity fat. It's the problem fat. The, the brown fat, on the other hand, is the fit fat that mobilizes it and uses it as viable energy. So big difference. All right. Um, what can adults do then to, to, to stir the brown fat? Because you, you, as a kid, when you're younger, they kind of work hand in hand, right? Well, yeah, at one time, until very recently, research said, hey, we really believe that only children and infants really produce this good, healthy, fit brown fat, keeps them warm, keeps them healthy. And as we age, forget about it. But that's not true. We now that adults, we now know, that produce the same amount of brown fat. The difference is it's not as activated metabolically. So science is now looking at ways to activate right. that, that fat. Spark the engine. Spark on that the brown engine. fat. Exactly All right. right. Uh, there are some things that you can do to help that. What are your suggestions? Well, lower the calorie, rest restrict those calories, lower them by 20%. You know, if you're overeating, cut it back. I think that's a really important uh, equation. Also, magnesium. Magnesium is a much forgotten uh, ma uh, uh, element to this whole process. Omega 3 fats, there are good fats that help pick up those and activate those brown fats. Uh, magnesium, as we said, helps relax the nervous system, keeps the cortisol stress hormones low. Fucoidan, which a lot of folks maybe haven't heard of, there are many different algae, there's blue-green algae, et cetera. This is a brown algae that actually has been shown in, in scientific studies to lower bad cholesterol, to elevate the brown fat, and to really pick up the metabolism a little bit. You say more low-starch uh, vegetables as well. That's also important. Yeah. You know, there's high-starch vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, which are, you know, great foods, but they're starchy. They're going to increase the, the uh, weight gain and slow down that metabolism, as opposed to the green vegetables, the salads, which go the other direction stimulate metabolism. Why does the uh, brown fat in adults kind of go dormant there? The research indicated as to why that happened? You know, a lot of folks estimate that it has a lot to do with the thermogenic control. The fact that our ancestors lived cold all the time and nowadays we have temperature controlled environments so we kind of slow down our mm. need to sort of regulate our body's warmth. Yeah, uh, and exercise, how does that figure into this whole thing? Well, interesting <clears throat> stuff. A lot of research says exercise, of course, makes a big difference with weight loss, but it also makes a big difference at getting that activated, good, healthy, fit brown fat moving through your system as well. They claim that 30 minutes of walking, no more than four times a week, not, not, we're not talking jogging, we're talking walking here, will stimulate by 4% the activation of brown fat. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot at 4%. It is a lot. Now, but this has nothing to do with, though, with the, when you exercise and you lose weight, uh, you, you're burning those calories. Is that actually the brown fat at work there for it, you? It is indeed, and they're finding out more and more now that these aerobic, and specific, they do specify aerobic gene. So the aerobic exercises do indeed have a mechanism whereby they release and activate metabolically this brown fat in the body. So that, that is the case. And that ties into uh, what they call the fat burning zone when you do your heart rate. Exactly. Figuring out what that is and getting your heart rate to stay there exactly for the duration of that 30 minutes for that, the most part that maximized it? heart rate and again yeah. you can do that with a brisk walk right it's very simple a lot of people don't think oh, i gotta run i gotta, <laughs> I gotta kill myself exactly right but the walk can actually get it done too uh, maxhealing.com for more information you find out more about uh, mark and natural health care there as well mark is always great to see you thanks Appreciate you coming in Good to be with i'm going to start sparking up that brown fat <laughs> as soon as we leave here today